Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. Happy juice? Happy juice. Say it louder. Happy juice. So happy juice. Happy juice. <laughs> Is this mama's happy juice? Happy juice. <laughs> Make his pockets hack. <laughs> Go ahead and start it. Make that pussy party. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna bleep that out, but okay, you don't give a fuck. Don't give a Ew, a spider. Ew, a fat, ugly, depressed bitch. What did you just call me? <laughs> After building our new construction home, we let each of our four children decide what they wanted their bedrooms to look like. We worked with them to create a space that was uniquely them and celebrated their individuality. This room belongs to our oldest daughter, Isley. She is 14 years old and she created a space that is way more modern than anything else in our home. A sleek black fan, a white leather platform bed, charcoal and white bedding, and most importantly, this girl loves her music. So we displayed some of her favorite vinyls above her bed using a level and a pencil to make sure that they were straight. She is so happy with the result. So my son made this, it's cute, right? like a little bird looks like a whistle so i come up pick it up go <laughs> hold one eye <laughs> it doesn't work he says mom go put water in it water in it don't be suspicious 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 Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. Ten days until Mother's Day punch box. She's gonna choose which one she wants. I'll be nice. <laughs> Purple bag. Is it all? <laughs> Not gonna use it at work. Shh. I'm hiding from my husband and kids. Every single day. Hey babe, what's for lunch? Hey mom, what's for dinner? I'm not a flippin' chef. Eat some gold. Okay, so I'm starting to cook dinner. I learned something recently that I thought was so cool and I wanted to sh share. Share? Share. Um, this is just an organic breast tenderloin, but do you guys see this nasty little chicken tendon that's in there? I don't know if maybe I'm just late to the game, but I learned that if you take a fork, you slip the tendon into the middle of the fork. You gotta, it's a little slick, so I use a paper towel. You grab the tendon and you just push down you can pull the whole thing out! Did anybody else know this? I literally thought this was like the coolest thing ever. Uh, 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 uh. 
Mars gonna be be salty or Daddy's gonna buy you turkey pie. Yes, a turkey pie. Go, 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 go. <laughs> So a lady messaged me and called me a bad mom because I probably feed my kids frozen dinosaur chicken nuggets. And I got really offended because I obviously fucking cook them first. Okay, another cool product for your picky eaters. This really clever choo-choo train is a complete dining kit. You got your fork and your spoon, a little condiment tray, a bowl, a cup, and a small and large plate. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there is a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. And how and when do we get results? They're gonna call you in three to five days. Okay. All right, Liv, wanna watch mommy? She's I really scared. Okay. So. Oh. It doesn't hurt if it stays still. Okay. Basically, you're gonna look straight ahead at AutoZone. It goes into your nostril. Okay. And keep your, lean your head back a little bit and I'll count to three. I'm gonna check your nose. Turn to me a drop like on the other side. Thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. Okay. See, that was it, Liv. Okay. My heart went Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. <laughs> that is freaking amazing. <laughs> So a lady messaged me and called me a bad mom because I probably feed my kids frozen dinosaur chicken nuggets and I got really offended because I obviously fucking cook them first. Just look away. Look away. Why? You don't need to see You don't Why? need to see this. See what? You don't need to see <gasps> it. You don't need to see it. No. You don't need to no. see it. It's quarantine time. I can't be going out every day. He's going. <laughs> Murderer. I love you just don't make mistakes. What you imperfections. Good morning. <laughs> you fascinated? Uh, ah! No, no, mom. No, no, mommy. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. So you're not planning to go out and see your boyfriend later? No! I don't believe you. Why won't you trust me? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have accused you of lying. Hello? Oh! What are you doing? Listen, I'm done. With what? I'm going for it. Every time I open up this cabinet, I fear for my life. Shit comes flying at me. <laughs> When's the last time you used any of these cups? Pop Warner 07? Does this really need to be in here? It's not even Christmas time. Well, what the freak is this? Those are from my prom. Ah, uh, they're going. No. no way, they're going. They're out of here. <laughs> no, come on. These are memories. I feel like I need to do some education before the quarantinis start arriving. Dads, in nine months, buy your wife a cake. Why? Because that's a 10. Yeah, she deserves the cake. All the cake. Let's make some lunch for my kids. We made pho last night, so the girls are gonna have pho for lunch again because they love it. I'm adding the rice noodles, fish cake, beef meatball, and some sliced beef. Adding some cilantro, green onions, and limes. I added the soup on the side so the noodles don't get soggy. Of course, we're just eating this at home, but I'm just showing you what I would do if they were going to school. 
I'm slicing up some pineapple and just making sure you cut the tips off because that's the hard chewy part. And now some strawberries. I'm taking the leaves off and slicing them in half and adding that to the bento box. I'm also cutting up some kiwis. This is a super easy and fun way to cut them. You just zigzag through the middle and they can scoop it out with a spoon and eat it that way. I'm just filling in the extra spaces with more strawberries, adding my whale and dolphin food pics on the kiwis. And for the note, I'm writing, I love you, for real. Get it? In honor of Mother's Day, let's talk about the woman who did everything the men did with a baby strapped to her back. I'm talking about Sacagawea, and her story is probably more interesting than you know. Which, first of all, she was kidnapped as a child and then sold to another Indian tribe and eventually her fur trading husband as a second wife. Which kind of makes her a slave? She was an expert scavenger, fluent in multiple Indian languages, and so good at navigation that Clark called her his pilot. And when their boat capsized, Sacagawea didn't panic like the rest of the men. In fact, she kept saving their lives. The Shoshani didn't attack because the presence of a woman and a baby made their party seem non-threatening. And when they go to barter for horses so that they don't die this winter, they figure out that Sacagawea is the chief's long-lost sister who was kidnapped. So instead of killing them, they give them horses! Even though Sacagawea is a national hero, her legacy has had a run of bad luck. Like how she's going to end up on the U.S. currency and then didn't. Like how part of the Missouri River was named after her and then wasn't. Or how some men on the trip completely shunned her. So much more on our podcast. lunch for my kids. Today I'm adding some rice and I covered pork and panko and I fried it up. I'm slicing it and then adding it to the bento box. I'm going to add some katsu sauce on top. Katsu sauce is kind of like barbecue sauce but sweeter and has a little bit of a pineapple flavor. I added some edamame and now I'm cutting the cucumbers into flower shapes. I'm making the lunch theme green since it's St. Patrick's Day so I'm using whatever I had on hand that's green. I'm gonna be making some guacamole. I added avocado, garlic, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and a little bit of lime. And then I'm going to blend it up, add a little bit of garlic salt and pepper. I'm going to add the guacamole in and add some tortillas that I fried up for chips. And for the note, I'm writing happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm so glad to be spending more time with you. I love you. I hope everyone is staying safe. Bye. Super cool parenting product, part 12. Okay, so little kids love grapes. It's probably my kids' like number one favorite fruit. Fruit? Fruit? Food? Fruit? <laughs> Let's just leave that mistake. Number one favorite fruit. But it's a major choking hazard for kids like under five, six years old. And so we're told to quarter them, which takes time and is tedious and kind of annoying introducing the grape slicing quartering machine. Let me show you how it works. Okay, you just put the grape right in there and then you press down and it quarters it and it just goes so fast. It's way easier than slicing them yourself. This is the OXO or OXO, I don't know how to say it brand and I got it off of Amazon. Nobody tells you that when you become a parent, you're probably going to have picky eaters. And if you have picky eaters, nobody tells you that you're going to cook your two kids two different types of food because they don't eat the same things. And they're going to sit down at the table and eat those foods. And then you're going to go into the kitchen and make the food that you want. But before you're done making your food, your kids are done eating their food. So they get down off the table. And then when you're done making your food, you're going to go sit down and eat your food. But then your two-year-old is going to come over and want to see what's on your plate. And they're going to throw a tantrum about it. So then they're going to sit down in your lap and want to eat the food that you made, but they won't eat that food if you make it and put it on their own plate. They're only going to eat it if it's on your plate. So then they end up eating the food that you have, even though they've already eaten their
their food and then you end up eating scraps because fuck it. You have to do that three times a day, seven days a week for how many fucking years? <laughs>